Good morning, guys. Welcome to today <laughs> and the beginning of the worst day of our life. I figured it's time for Posey Pig to start being outside for longer periods and explore the property. But to do that, I need her to be in a safe environment. So I need to bring her down to the goat area where she's going to be running free and learning to roam the property behind fences. Oh, she hates barns though. I brought her down here. I was carrying her and she's gotten so heavy. And we got into the barn and she lost her mind. Literally lost her mind. I had to like put her down before all of us died. She was just freaking out so badly. Oh my gosh, get out of the feed pans. Oh, they're so brave. Okay, so here's the story. It's a baby pig. That means you guys have to be gentle with it. There will be no... Oh gosh, what am I doing? This is a mistake. I know it's a mistake. It's a mistake before I even start it. No, no, no. Go back. All right, you can visit through the fence. She runs fast. It's her only help here. Do not horn my pig. Don't. Oh man, <laughs> I just want everything to be cohesive. Don't. Everybody's interested. Oh, The babies are interested. Oh, Winston! <laughs> I can always tell it's Winston when, he, when I feel somebody climbing on me. Whew. Anyways, all I want is for her to be able to wander and play. Oh, she's going to go to the bathroom. Someplace safe while I'm busy doing work. Like, she's a baby. She still needs a lot. She needs to be outside a lot, too, because... Unfortunately, she doesn't know that she's a pig yet. She doesn't know that she's a pet. She doesn't know that she's going to live in a barn. She thinks that she's a person and that's not going to be easy. But other, and also, I want her to learn to root. I want her to learn to be able to, like, this is so satisfying for pigs to be able to root in the ground and, and dig and explore. Like, she needs to focus on these things, so... Blossom is a good girl though. Good girl, Blossom. If I had treats, I'd give them to you. All right, so today is the day that we're gonna start the winter cleanup. I can't stand it anymore. It's just been uh, so much. I don't know why he's doing it like that. He should bring it in butt first. Which basically it means raking up all the hay and all the straw that we used all winter to keep everybody warm and cozy and comfy through the cold weather. Things are going super well though. Uh oh, I've lost the pig. Things are not going well. I've literally lost the pig. Do you guys know how many times this has happened to me? You don't because I haven't told you. But in the last two days, I've lost the pig. Oh, there it is. Oh, this is really encouraging. They're like not being mean to her. If this was Ellie, they would be ramming her. <laughs> They're all on the other side of the, set, the fence, but that works out. This is amazing. She seems so happy, you guys. She seems so happy to be out here just roaming free and doing her thing. She's eating sticks, <laughs> but that's what she's designed to do. She's designed to be busy and rooting around and it's not so super sunny that she needs sunscreen right now. It's kind of cool out, perfect weather for her to start getting used to being in the barnyard. Oh. These guys just are so freaking adorable. Winston loves the pigs. Work out one spot at a time. Yeah. We'll do out here and then. Let's see if you can close this first. You can. All right. Before you guys come down to help, I need you to go take off the dog, the horse's blankets. She shrunk? Good. She looks thinner too. Good. I want her to look a little thinner. She was like the funniest looking little thing. Before you guys come down and help me, I need you to go take all the blankets off the horses. Who who let who nurse? These two. 
We're nursing. Let's try to nurse on him. Oh, that's yeah, odd. Come here, baby. All right, I'm gonna just close this gate so that posy pig can't get through. Everybody's excited about the pig. For anybody wondering, um, it is okay to house pigs with goats. A lot of people do that. There are some risks that you have to take into consideration. I've seen where goats, where pigs have eaten newborn baby goats because they've been housed in the same area. I've seen, probably our pig wouldn't do that. I've seen where baby pigs love to sleep next to pigs. Baby goats love to sleep next to pigs and I've seen where goats have rolled over and squished them. There are some risks, but we will take those into consideration and they might roam together, but they won't be sleeping together. They won't be housed together. But for today, I wanted to be able to come out here, start cleaning up our winter mess and be able to let her roam and watch her. I can't even bring Ellie into this field because Ellie literally would get clobbered. Hi, huh, babe. But she thinner. doesn't, she doesn't feel thinner to me. She looks thinner. She's fat. She looks thinner. She's like fat. She looks better. She's growing a bit. She's getting longer legs. I think that's what you're seeing. Look at the, the goats though. They're like watching that pig. Oh, look, she looks thinner. She looks cuter for sure. I think it's because she doesn't have that blanket on. But maybe it's, maybe she's a little thinner. I don't know. One thing that's really funny is that if all the goats are interested in the baby pig, then they're not fighting each other. Hi, handsome. Hi. You got a hard life. Everything oh no, there's a goat on me and I'm gonna fall. The goal for the next few days is to fill, is to fill up this trailer that Sam is gonna actually take away and get dumped. So we're gonna get rid of all the stuff that we use this winter. We're gonna start here and clean out all this. You guys might not see it, but when we first moved the goats down here, this was all dirt. There was no, no hay. And over here, like this, this is feet. This is a good foot and a half thick, I betcha. All right, so that failed. She's already over on the other side of the fence. Well, that's perfect. And if I don't play my cards right, she could end up in the horse field so easily. I have learned to herd so much since I got a pig and goat. She wants to go where she wants to go though. Go back through the gate. Oh no, I'm losing her. I'm already sweating and we haven't even started. <laughs> Gabby, you're gonna boil in that coat. Oh, that's beautiful of Lola. That is not Lola, that's oh. Winston. Wow. All right, are you ready? No. <laughs> no, none of us are. We need some music. We need some nice loud music. Is so cute. Is that Lola or Winston? No, that's Winston. They look so much alike. He's I'll so try cute. send those to me. See send them to me. He's looking like a goat. All right, so we are getting it done. Trying to find a better spot to put the camera. I know. He's adorable. Over there, it's really thick, Gabby. Little Miss Piggy waded into this field. Oh,
throwing a fit saying you better not bother me. It was hilarious. Monday morning blues. I open my eyes and I'm greeted by a cute little smile. The world is new with you by my side. Don't eat rope. Don't eat rope. Uh oh. <laughs> no. <laughs> Give it to me. <laughs> no rope. Side. Everything is beautiful Tuesday afternoon. I'm calling you home just to hear your voice on the phone. I think of you and I'm not alone. You are everything. So far we have almost a whole wagon load and this area is coming clean. <laughs> it still has a lot though, like this big huge rock here I love. She raked all that, but this corner and this corner all have to be cleaned out. I might just move this thing while we get it. I don't know if it'll fit in this load though. It's time for a break. <laughs> Five minute break. I don't know. Where's the piggy? In the field. Uh, in what field? field? Look at little Miss Cricket. I don't know if you guys can see because of the sun. The sun is so bright. But little Miss Cricket is um, best buds with blossom now. I love to see the triplets together. Like triplets are my favorite combination for goat babies. Uh, especially when they're all a different color. It's just so striking to me. And so beautiful. Hi Lola. So the white mom has her triplets bedded down there and she's standing guard to make sure that the pig doesn't hurt them. And then the chocolate mom over there has her goat, her babies bedded down together. And it's funny that they sleep together. Oh, I can tell where the pig is. <laughs> Just by looking at the, the mama's eyes. But anyways, they're both standing guard of their babies. <laughs> oh my gosh. Here, she's back. <laughs> it's good she can run. She's so she crazy. was so excited. She just came through the fence and she went running right up to Tilly and was like wanting to kiss and snuggle her. And then Tilly uh, put the horns down and then that piggy ran. <laughs> I also want to get rid of this pile and make this all flat because no, I am going to do it. Not today because it's a lot of work. That's a big deep pile, but I want to do that because I want to maybe fence this area in because this would be such a good area even for like the pigs well actually the pigs could just come out here but there's shade here for like the pigs if they need it i don't know i just want to clean it up waking up with you in my arms i've got it all nothing's amiss everything is beautiful sunday morning snooze with breakfast in bed and i listen to the song in my head but the truth is you guys this this is such a good day i love the sun let go you're so heavy i love the sun i love the work i love being busy and i love watching the animals this could even be this little round ring it could even be a pig area but I'm against locking your pigs in. I want them to be free range. All right, so Sam unhooked this area where we had the duck and the goose. I can stand underneath this thing, no problem. And like I said, we can put a tarp here. It can be another source of shade for our animals. Things that you do, cause you're everything. to bring these up and clean them. This is our first time near mud, you guys. <laughs> so 
So I'm gonna take all this down now because we're not gonna house any animals in here that need to be fenced in. So I might leave like this stuff on, but I'm gonna take this part down and this piece of wood so that we don't always have to bend under it. And I'm gonna get all this all cleaned out. Sam's trying to catch us another raccoon. If I catch a baby raccoon, Look. I'm keeping it. Oh, she's in the water. Oh, she's just having a drink. Well, it's her first time in mud, in a right, mud puddle, and she doesn't care. She is going to be so much fun this summer. <laughs> she wants to swim! All right, you guys, if it is warm tomorrow in our video, I will put water, a little bit of water in this pool. In fact, I might do it tonight so it has time to get warm. And we're gonna see if Posey Pig will swim. I still don't know for sure where I'm gonna put everybody. I think that this area here is, it's either going to be the for the our buck because, uh, did I tell you guys? I bought a new buckling. I can't wait to show you. It's the tiniest little thing right now. I get him, I think, in May. I think in May, at the end of May. And he is a white fluffy teddy bear, but he's got other colors too. I can't wait to show him to you guys. He is adorable, like absolutely adorable. He has some of the best breeding ever. I'm so excited to use him for our buck. So this area is either gonna be a buck area, which is, is nice and big. It, there's lots of room that they can go. And I think that's probably what's gonna happen because this area is somewhat secure for a buck, for bucks. They can't get up into the farmyard. They can't get into the, the doe area. So they have this area. They're going to have shade here. They're going to have this area to go in and eat hay. So I think this is the spot and I can bury some tires in the ground and make it like a little playground out here for him. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to use this whole area for a buck. And then I think I'm going to move the... I think the pigs are going to be go out with the goats. I think the pigs, because I want them to be able to wander the whole farm with the goats, because pigs need to wander around. If you keep pigs in a small area, they will root and root and root and dig up the whole area. Mini pigs, a little less so. They don't have those big, huge, long snouts. She has something in her mouth and I don't know what it is. So, so that's my plan, I think, but things change all the time. But anyway, today was so super fun. I also think that I'm going to house our buck in here. So the, I'll put his hay in there. And I think at nighttime when I put them to bed, this will be his room. I'm going to clean this all out. This is my next area to clean out. So hopefully I can get this done tomorrow. But this will be his area. He'll live here. And that will give me the whole rest of this barn for goats. We'll have seven stalls. One, two, three, four, five, six. We'll have six stalls just for moms and babies. So I think that's gonna be amazing. I think it's gonna work out perfectly. I love days like this. Comment below if you love working on the farm, even if it means cleaning up. Don't you know?